Dawes says you're in here for contempt of court. So? What's the real story? That's it. Well, what were you doing there in the first place? Come on, Sharon. These tears, they're fresh. They're not for den. Something's happened to you. It doesn't matter. I got my parole at the end of the week. Strange timing, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it's fate that's brought us together. I never thought I'd ever see you again. And yet here we are, two of life's survivors. What's the story? <laughs> Christmas I was attacked. My friend saved me like Zoe saved you. Uh, what you said earlier was just close to home. Who? What? Who attacked you? It doesn't matter. Did you know him? Was it a lover? The father of your kid? Was he abusive? No. I oh, but you cared about him. I can see that. Do you ever get over it? What? He's dead, the man it would take. It's like I said, if Zoe hadn't done what she did, I'd be dead. And even then, seconds after she'd saved my life, do you know the first thing I said to her? You killed my husband. Like she'd done me wrong. And I meant it. That's the effect he had on me. And I still feel like that sometimes. Because I miss him. And I'm sad that he's gone. Does that answer your question? I miss that too. I know. And I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm really sorry. And you're right, I did use you to hurt him. I stooped to his level, and I shouldn't have. Should have left that relationship years ago, but I couldn't. You were like magnets. <sighs> anyway, I'll leave you to it, Sharon. Too much has passed between us. We're never gonna see eye to eye. <sighs> Wait. What? I forgive you, Chrissy. You forgive me? Yes. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> and, uh, don't worry about your time in here. I got your back. <laughs> Chris, you made your point this morning. I'm working on it, all right? I'll cancel your debt if you do me a favour. That new girl, I want you to teach her a lesson. <laughs> <laughs>